There's a couple different ways when I'm catfishing that I like to cut my bait to present it the right way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple different techniques. A lot of times you can take this bait and you can see on that size of shad right there, that is not a giant wintertime bait. In the summertime, I probably wouldn't throw a bait that big, but you can come down and you can fillet this out on both sides like this. So when you're running that bait, as you can tell, when you're dragging that with that hook in there, he's slimy. You can tell that he's got those slint glands open and that's making a lot of action in the water. Another thing I'll do, a lot of times I'll cut short baits. What I call small baits, sometimes I'll come down there and I'll cut that bait that size. If they're being finicky, kind of like they are today, a lot of times that smaller bait is a lot more active to them, a lot more attractive. There is times that you can come in here and another way I've done it is I've come in here and I've sliced this and I'll come in here and I'll slice it this way and I'll trim this tail off. The reason I did that, as you can tell when I open this up, look how that's bleeding. And you can see it on both sides and you can see the blood coming out of the back of it. That's what makes this bait so successful is you have to have that scent in the water. 